All right, apologize the, uh, for the sniffing, uh, which I'm going to almost definitely be doing in the next couple minutes because uh, my allergies are being weird. Um, but this is just a really quick uh, why quick gesture drawing is good for practicing uh, form and proportion. Um, so this is my thing will work. Um, about the quickest drawing you can you can do. Right? A little head. Right. Proportions on that, not perfect. Head's too big. But this is really, really, really quick and easy. Um, and basically all you're focusing on is the proportions there. Right. If you get into a larger figure where you start, you know, maybe with the, um, you know, the rib cage and then you build off the you know, collarbone and you put a you know, head in and stuff like that, uh, you're generally drawing this in pieces. So it's a lot easier to get the overall proportions wrong. So the idea is if you're doing figure drawing uh, or gesture drawing mainly, figure drawing and gesture drawing, terms are not exactly interchangeable. Gesture drawing is a, a form of figure drawing. Um, your goal is to get the overall proportions, right? When you're doing things like sort of like a medium pose, a couple minutes, things like that, uh, then you can kind of get into refining it more. Um, and that's sort of where you get into to corrections. Um, also just like memorizing stuff. If you go look at like a, like a Loomis uh, figure drawing book, it's going to talk about, you know, formulas of, you know, eight heads or seven heads or, or six heads, depending on if it's a man, woman, or child, heroic proportions, etc. cetera. Um, and you can, you can build it up that way. So yeah, the idea is, a lot of this is sort of your subconscious mind, um, and you can you can quickly sort of notice if things look wrong. Um, but you know, something like you know build uh, a figure pretty quickly, um, you can sort of get the proportions fairly decent um, and kind of get that that going. You know, again, I'm not trying to be you know perfect here, but if you're drawing really quick silhouettes and things like that, um, it's going to allow you to. Um, focus on the bigger shapes, which seems weird, um, but also uh, you're going to do it a lot more. Right? If you're doing really, really quick sketches, if you're doing you know one minute sketches, your brain is going to be looking at analyzing and then putting down onto, uh, on, onto paper the proportions for a figure, you know, 60 times in an hour versus one time. And is that going to get you to know the muscles in the bicep perfectly and what its specific proportions are? No, that's not what it's for. Um, that's for your, your sort of medium and long-term poses. Although honestly, I would I would really sort of look at anatomy books for that. You know, once you sort of figure out you know how big the arm is, um, then it becomes pretty simple to you know learn the anatomy for the the muscles and you get your sort of ligaments and stuff and you can then sort of put in you know the the shapes around the um, um, the muscles and sort of how long they are and, and kind of stuff where they connect um, that kind of stuff usually you study in addition to the the figure drawing piece um, there's a lot of really good books on it my favorite is the Bridgman stuff uh, specifically the the human machine part of it uh, Bridgman is great, but one of the cool things that he does is he talks about, you know, mechanically how your uh, joints work, you know, how your your wrist functions, like what is the actual type of hinge that's going on there. So you can sort of think about how that hinge works, and if you understand how that hinge works, um, and you know, the fact that there's like two bones in your your forearm, and so like when you turn your arm. Right, it turns those two bones in a relationship to each other. That's going to change the shape of your of your arm. Stuff like that, you know. Um, but there's no there's no quick way to do it. Do all of it. <laughs> do the figure drawing. Uh, do the gesture drawing. Do the short pose. Do the long pose. Look at anatomy books. Um, when you're done with that, do.
do it again. Uh, it just takes years and years and years and years and years and years and no one has ever done. So good luck. Uh, yeah.